What's up, guys? I'm extremely excited to introduce the Gears of War Judgment Overrun Lesson Series. I'm Skylos. I'll be handling all the Locust videos, while Arctic will be handling the COG. We're also playing some other tips and tactics videos around the Overrun game mode. Hopefully everyone's able to learn a few things along the way, so let's get started with the ticker. The primary purpose of all of the top row of Locusts are to score points by destroying defenses. These points later get spent into more powerful Locusts in the bottom row. As such, we'll be focusing a lot on how to generate points when playing as a ticker. But first, let's take a look at the abilities available to the ticker. The most defining ability is the ability to detonate itself and do a nice chunk of damage in the surrounding area. In order to reach these areas, it's equipped with a dash which lets you fly past enemies on the way to the objective. The Tigger can also see frag grenades thrown by the Grenadier, as well as Bushka grenades which are fired by the Soldier. When the Tigger detonates or is killed, the grenade will also detonate shortly after. Scoring points to the Tigger is really easy, I think it's actually one of the best classes in the game at racking up points. Uh, there's a good breakdown here of all the primary things which give the Tigger points, and I've also added a document in the description of more in-depth breakdown. The key takeaway here is that you get more points by detonating on enemy fortifications than you would if you target enemy players. And if you fail to kill an enemy player, you'll also walk away with nothing. So with this in mind, the goal becomes to do as much damage as possible to structures. In order to maximize your points, it's important to detonate in locations which give you points for several objectives. A key example of this is the Emergence Hole in the first stage of Skyline, where the Detroit gets hurt positioned right behind the Emergence Hole. If you detonate on the other side, you'll just get the 220 points of detonation. If you place yourself between the Hall and the Troika, you'll get an extra 185 points on the Troika damage. The same idea comes into play when an engineer drops a sentry turret near the fortification. Simply wait for the sentry to deploy, and then detonate right next to it. You'll still damage the fortification, but you also get an extra 260 points and destroy the turret. Taking all these small advantages over the game can lead to big things later on when you're able to spawn with maulers, serapedes, corpsers, you know, several times in a row because you cranked out so much objective damage in the first and second stages. That's the whole point behind the ticker, really, is that you want to just keep snowballing your points bit by bit and make sure that every single life you're getting 250 to 500 points uh, based off your damage. I think the biggest issue in playing ticker is enemy engineers. The sentry turrets are really annoying since they acquire the target so fast you can't dash past it, and then they'll kill you almost instantly. There's a few ways to combat this, though, and the biggest way is to be patient and take note of how many engineers on the other team. Sentry turrets only last 10 seconds, so take note of the time when a turret is placed, then simply wait 10 seconds and make your dash past the engineer. After that, there's a 20 second cooldown before you get the sentry back up. So if you know it's on cooldown, then you can play aggressively on that side of the map. If there's multiple engineers on the enemy team, you have to find windows to squeak out extra damage or destroy their sentries for a nice point boost. This means using your camera to scout out sentries before running into the open if you expect there may be a sentry up. Usually the engineers will stick to one side or the other and you'll be able to tell when a sentry is going to be up on a certain side. If there's four or five engineers, then really you just want to focus on killing the sentries uh, with your detonations. Or switch off ticker, because that's really a nightmare scenario for the ticker. I think the single most ignored aspect of the ticker is the ability to eat grenades. A ticker without grenades is a constant annoyance. Once you eat a grenade, you go nuclear. So please, please, throw your ticker's grenades in the spawn. Seriously. It's free points, free damage, and free kills. I'm declaring this pose right here as the official throw me a grenade signal to be used in overrun. If the ticker is moonwalking while staring deeply into your eyes, Throw that dog a bone, please. If your team isn't throwing you grenades, then you can also just force them to give you one by standing next to them while mashing the button to eat a grenade. When they throw their grenade, you'll snatch it from right under their nose and remind them of what they should have done in the spawn. You can also eat Bushka shots fired by enemy soldiers. You have to be careful because the radius for these is really large, and the Bushka can be a real pain for Tickers because of that. I found a good tactic is to wait for them to fire their three shots. One, two, three and then run directly towards the soldier. If he fires another Bushka shot at you, just simply mash the button and eat it and then dash at him with his own grenade. Or you can alternatively just dash past him towards the objective at that point. There's a pretty generous area around the ticker which eats the grenade, so don't be afraid to smash the button whenever Bushka rounds are being fired overhead. As far as I can tell, there's no cooldown eating grenades, so you might as well just smash the button. Note that when you've eaten a frag grenade, an icon appears on the side of the screen. However, there's no icon when you eat a Bushka round. You do grow in size whenever you eat either grenade, though, so that's the best indication to tell if you're loaded with a grenade. And eating multiple grenades doesn't increase the damage at all, but you do get the 75 points for eating a grenade every single time. That about wraps up everything I have to say about the ticker. The key takeaways here are to rack up the dollar bills we'll spend on the more powerful locusts, be patient and smart when fighting engineers, and eat every grenade thrown your way, including those your teammate just forgot to throw for you. Hopefully this video has been helpful. The next video will be on the wretch. So please like, subscribe, leave a comment below if you have any suggestions for videos. And thanks again, guys.